Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 4. Okay, so we've got a few leads, and there's a couple of things we could do. Let's pick up where we left off and get some work done. Ooh, light's going on in the, uh, in the doctor's office. What's happening here? Oh, shock! What happened? Shock, the electromagnetic monkey. <laughs> Can I get you out? Let's see if this will work. Aha! Come on, let's get you out of here. You're free, little buddy. Oh, he's in my inventory. Stay away from my laboratory. Uh, okay, well. Ow, what the heck is DeSinge doing up there anyway? Hey, whatever this is oozing, it's awfully caustic. I wonder if that's the problem. I wonder if we could get that to prove that uh, might have been what was used to cause that burn. Nacho cheese can get hot, but I'm pretty certain that wouldn't cause a, a burn too terrible. Hi there, Twinkle Toes. Enjoy your last moment of freedom, cause you're going to pay for what you did to Miss Pretty Whiskers. I'd be happy to pay. Do you accept traveler's checks? How's Miss Grungy Whiskers doing? Her name isn't Grungy Whiskers, you love a licker. It's Miss Pretty Whiskers. Whoop. Um. Drop the charges and I'll spare your life. Bah! <coughs> life ain't hardly worth living without the sound of Miss Pretty Whiskers' delicate pitter pat on the bar floor. I'm sure she feels the same way about the delicate pitter pat of your stumps. What exactly are you doing? Mixing up Miss Pretty Whiskers' food. What's it to you? Can I have some? No. Hmm. Food, you say? See ya. Hmm, I wonder. Hey, look! A five headed bonobo! What? I didn't see nothing! <coughs> Sorry, it must have been a weather balloon. So, in case anyone's wondering what I'm up to, the uh, court document says that the cart, that the charge will get dropped if that cat moves as so much as an inch. So, let's just feed her a bunch of magnetic iron, uh, iron shavings and see if we can come back to that later. Um, meantime, let's go see if we can knock out one of these other charges. Who goes there? It's me, Guybrush Street, mighty pirate at law. Oh, Counselor Threepwood. <coughs> what can I do for you? I'd like to return to court. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then. Let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honorable Wallace P. Grindstomp presiding. Let's keep it moving, Captain Freeport. Uh, so, let's see. Your Honor, I'd like to request a change of venue. Where to? Oh, how about back at your place? Just you, me, a jug of grog, a loaf of bread, and some scandalous legal briefs. Captain Freeboard will terminate his clumsy and off-putting attempts to seduce this court at once! Made me uncomfortable at it. And Skippy. Hmm, he seems kind of mad. I wonder. Hold that crazy pose. Gotcha. Ooh, that does look cool. Uh, on second thought, I'd like to request a recess. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threepwood <coughs> to the brig. Oi, oi, Your Honor. Okay, um... Guard, what do you want? Hey, stupid, let me out. Um... Must see my lawyer. See my lawyer. Again? Thanks. Not getting any smarter. <laughs> hey, Doro. 
Here you go. Captain Doro, do you have it? One nigh indestructible glass eye. Pox colored, just like all the cool pirates are wearing. What is a big and Santa Fe? Ay, 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 ay. My eye is really scary. Now, according to Crimpdigit, all you have to do to set it is pop it in your eye socket. Ooh. How do I look? Dangerous. I think you mean dangerously cool, eh? Sure, whatever. Now, about your testimony. No problem, mi amigo. Just call me back to the stand and ask me about this. Your Dark Ninja Dave Porcelain Power Pirates treasure map? I'll just smuggle this into here. In my, uh, let's say, mouth. Hmm. Okay, let's put a pin in that, and we'll come back to it later. I smell uncharged dropping very easily. Uh, let's see what's going on in Club 41. I wonder if Club 41's changed its restrictive policies. Guess so. Ah, Club 41. Nothing screams pirate bar like the aroma of moldy grog sprinkled with just a hint of sea spray and Ooh, shattered Morgan. Dreams. Hmm. I will double your quadrupled rate. Keep your gold, silk pants. You can't afford me anymore. But you must break Sweepwood out of jail and bring him back to me! He is the only one who has the poxalicious strains that I need. You're a little behind the times, Demange. I'm pox-free and fit as a fiddle. See? <gasps> Impossible. Nothing's impossible when Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, is involved. And after I cure my wife and everyone else... I'll... Wife? Yeah. She was standing right next to me when the truck exploded, so the pox hit her pretty hard. Stupid! I down and capture this wife of Guybrush Threepwood. Hey! What part of Non do you not comprende? But I need her! She's the only other pirate who could possibly have the Threepwood strain of the pox! Then get her yourself! My dear Mademoiselle Lefley, I don't get people. I hire people like you to get them for me. And if you won't get them, then maybe I'll find someone to get you. I don't like to be threatened. Oh! Oh, my phalange! What the? Oh! <sighs> that was a very, very bad mistake, mademoiselle. Well, it wouldn't be the first! Jerk. Uh, good to see you, Morgan. <clears throat> Not that I'm complaining, but why did you turn down to Singe's contract to hunt down my wife? I may be a backstabbing mercenary, but even I have some standards. Sure, now you have standards. Shame they couldn't have shown up before you, oh, cut off my hand or knock me unconscious and drag me back to Flotsam Island. What can I say? I'm complicated. Well, I mean, you seem broken up about it. What did Desinge want with Elaine, anyway? You heard the man. Something to do with your unique strain of box. I guess he thinks your wife has it, too. Uh, you look grim. You look uncharacteristically grim. Eh, it's been one of those days. Uh, I know what you mean. Betraying your childhood hero can really take it out of you. Hey, that was just business. All right, Guybrush, let's... Business sucks more than the winds of flotsam. Sometimes. All right, Guybrush, let's not lay it on too thick. What are those scary-looking drinks? They're a row of Blood Island Volcano shots. They look... painful. Only the first one. Nice. Uh... I think you should know that I'm still really angry with you. Would it help if I bought you a drink? What, so you can poison me? I'll pass. Um, why aren't you pox? I noticed that you're without pox. I'm pox-free. Tested on a regular basis. Well, do you know why? Probably because I'm not really a pirate, since I'm a pirate hunter. Gotta like a pox that respects minor semantical distinctions. Mm -hmm. Uh, I could use some help. You know, if you have even a scintilla of a guilty conscience, I could really use your help. Listening? Well, there's this trial going on. So I've heard. Some guy was trying to tell me that it's the trial of the century! E, 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 Yeah, e. well, I could really use some trumped up evidence. Or a few intimidated witnesses. Or maybe a well-placed briber tent? You couldn't afford me. Of course. How silly of me. It's all about the pieces of eight with you, isn't it? Not always. I also accept pieces of nine. Uh, okay, this isn't getting me anything. Change your mind about helping me with my legal troubles? 
current legal system and I don't exactly get along. And if we did, I wouldn't do pro bono work. Okay. Um. All right, bye then. I can see you've got inner demons to wrestle with, so I'll just get on with my life. Thanks. And watch out for DeSinge. That thing he did with his finger was unnatural. What say you, barkeep? Oh, you're... What? Judge Grindstump? Oh, please. No need to be so formal. In here, I'm just plain old WP Grindstump, owner and proprietor of Club 41. Uh... You're not upset that I'm running around? Aren't you a little upset that I'm running around free? Heavens no! <laughs> what kind of pirate town would this be if we didn't condone the occasional jailbreak? What a remarkably progressive attitude. Besides, it's not as though you can really escape the swinging sword of Flotsam Justice. What with these blasted winds blowing in again? A ladies' night is looking a little grim. A ladies' night is looking a little, uh, grim. Well, it's early. Uh, once we got the buffet table laid out, this place will be hotter than the devil's knickers. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you're really the owner of Club 41? Have been ever since I won it from the original owner in a dart tournament a few years back. Poor old guy never knew what hit him. And by hit him you mean... A dart. Right in the old noggin. Hmm. Why is it Club 41? Why is this place called Club 41 anyway? You know, I don't rightly know. <coughs> the last owner never got a chance to tell me before he succumbed to his dart-related injuries. <laughs> I'd like to order a drink. I'd like to order a drink. Brilliant! Will you be paying with doubloons, triploons, coupons, or flats aiming for chefs? Actually, I'm a little light right now. Oh, no problem. I'll start up a tab. Will? That's so unlike, well, every place I've ever been in my life. Well, it's not like you're going to skip town on me, am I right? <laughs> um, Gragatini. Set me up with a Gragatini, with a twist. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. We don't serve Gragatinis anymore. Uh, the pirates kept gagging on the little porcelain swords. A grog? One grog. Neat. Coming right up! Ah, bracing. Um... Well, this has been a little strange, but uh, I've got a name to clear and a pox to cure. Ah, uh, good luck with that. So... Hmm. Set me up with a line of Blood Island Volcano shots. Me pleasure. These come with our complimentary Club 41 insulated volcano shot glasses. Hewn out of molten lava. They can keep hot liquids hot for a week. Impressive. I might need one of those. Uh, Guybrush, slow down a little. Ooh, that's some hot grog on grog action. I'll just save this last one for later. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. I got five empty shot glasses and one full. I'm gonna need that for something, I just don't know what. Nice dartboard. Isn't it though? Ah, it was one of the few things I managed to salvage when I was washed ashore on Flotsam all those years ago. Can I play around? Unfortunately, the darts were lost a few weeks ago during a bar fight. <coughs> and pity too. What with the annual Flotsam Island dart tournament tomorrow night? Hmm. Yeah, shame that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It just... what? Hmm. Okay. Can I ask you about what that sign is? Duh. <laughs> hey, WP. Captain Threepwood, what can I do you for? S no, I guess I can't ask you about that sign. Um... I wonder what happened to Murray. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, buffet table. What's this? That'll be Club 41's famous Flotsam Island Ladies' Night Buffet Table. In a few hours, it'll be spilling over with flaming chocolate cupcakes. 
barbecued narwhal horns, deep fried petty fours, and all that other girly stuff that our swashbuckling lady pirates love. Hmm. Oh, no, not the painting. What's that artistic abomination? Ah, that be a painting of Flotsam Island's notorious jungle beast, painted by our own Hemlock McGee. Hemlock? Really? Aye, no one knows more about our legendary beastie than old Hemlock. Hmm, I might need to ask Hemlock about that. All right, well, time to go for now, I guess. Anything to see over here? Hello, seagull. When I was a younger pirate, I used to lie awake on the deck of my ship and gaze at the seagulls as they majestically swooped and bobbed through the evening sky. And then they started pooping on me. So I stopped doing that. What is... That lamp is leaking oil. Not just any oil. Manatee oil. Oh, that's not right. Yeah. I almost feel guilty about this. Almost. So I collected manatee oil. That might come in handy. Alright, let's go eliminate one of these charges before I forget. Bailiff? Who go? Oh, it's you. I'd like to return to court. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. Alrighty then, let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honorable Wallace P. Grindstump presiding. Time is grog, Captain! Uh, let's see. <clears throat> um... I, uh, don't know what to do. That's why you should have a lawyer, <laughs> you blithering bladder state! Sorry. Look, Threepwood, it's pretty easy. You can call witnesses for any of the cases. Once they're on the stand, you can question them, confront them with evidence from the evidence table, if it's pertinent to the case, or attempt to confront them with new evidence that you've brought into court. You'd best be careful about that last one, though. <laughs> Nothing gets on me nerves more than a defendant attempted to clog my court with useless chunks of jetsam. And of course, you can always ask for a recess, so you can check your briefs. Thanks. Uh, alright, well, I'd like to call a witness. I'll call De Oro. I'd like to call Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso De Oro to the stand. Joaquin De Oro! Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog-swilling, backstabbing pirate? See, si? Senor De Oro. Captain De Oro. Yes, of course. Why are you here today? I was recently arrested for trying to sell a counterfeit Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate figurine. A counterfeit figurine crafted by Guybrush Threepwood. Actually, that, that wasn't so surprising. Your witness, Counselor. Uh -huh. You're lying. Senor Dora, is it not true that you're an inveterate liar? No. So it is true that you're an inveterate liar? Uh, no. Yes. I don't know. What does inveterate mean? Objection! Your Honor, the defense is attempting to confuse the witness with big words! Sustained! The defense will take into account the witness's <laughs> limited vocabulary! Uh, just a minute. Liar, yes? Me, liar, no! I suggest trying another line of inquiry, Threepnod! All right, fine. Mm, can't really ask him that much. Just a moment, Your Honor. All right, Doro. Tell me about this. Captain Doro, what can you tell me about this map? Objection! Defense Exhibit 42, Your Honor. This is the map the witness used to find his Dark Ninja Dave power pirate. I'll allow it, but not your eternally flapping mouth, you festering chum hole! Continue. I purchased this map at eBay six months ago from a traveling salesman with a plaid jacket and waving arms. He said that it was an authentic Dark Ninja Day porcelain power oh, pirate treasure right. map, but I have since learned that it was just as counterfeit as the power pirate it led me to. 
And who was the dastardly swindler who sold you this map? It was... Hey, would you look at that? I've misfiled my glorious Mundus. Your Honor, on behalf of the Porcelain Power Pirates Corporation, I'd like to ask that all charges pertaining to the unfortunate counterfeiting of the Dark Ninja Dave action figure be dropped against Captains Joaquin de Oro and Guybrush Threepwood. Smart move, Counselor! In the matter of Porcelain Power Pirates versus de Oro, de Oro versus Threepwood, etc., 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 this court finds in favor of the defendants! All this justice? Where's the hangings? You want hangings? Just keep it up, you swabs! All right, that's two down. Hmm. Let's get some more information. Let's talk to Hemlock. I'd like to call Hemlock McGee to the stand. Hemlock McGee! What's that? Oh. And do you swear on Blackbeard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Pinky. I knew Blackbeard back when he was bloody black peach fuzz. Just let me at him. Let me at him. Ensign McGee. It's your contention that Captain Threepwood injured your cat. Injured? He practically crushed him. Hit him right in the puss with a stuffed manatee, and he did. And how is your cat today? I did no such thing. See for yourself. The poor dear is paralyzed with fear. I have to feed her through a tube. Oh, my poor Miss Pretty Whisker. Oh, my poor little Pretty Whisker. Pretty Whiskers? Your witness, kid. I mean, I'm a cat man, so I, I feel bad, but you're kind of lying about what I did here, so... This old cat thing is a scam to get back at me for getting you kicked out of Club 41, isn't it? How can you look at my sad little pussy cat and call me a liar? <laughs> oh, just look at her. Oh. Mm. Admit it, you're nothing but a no-good, no-legged, stinky liar. Objection, defense is mocking my client's disability. Sustained! The defense will refrain from insulting the witness's pungent body. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine, I go. I have no questions for this witness, Your Honor. You may step down, Ensign McGee. Uh, I'm still missing a magnet anyway. Um... Let's see. Need more information about this nacho incident. So... I'd like to call Bosun Catherine Krebs to the stand. <coughs> Catherine Krebs! Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog villain backstabbing pirate? Aye. Bosun Krebs, could you tell the court what happened on that fateful day? I I was minding my own business at Club 41 with a mug full of grog and some zesty nachos when all of a sudden that blindfolded Jasper barreled into me, knocked me nacho sauce into me lap, and gave me this disfiguring scar. Hachi machi! Aye, that takes me back. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Bailiff, supply the prosecutor and the defendant with sketches of the burns for their briefs. Oh yeah, Your Honor. Lots of luck, kid. Okay, so let me investigate this for a second. Icky. Hard to believe that nacho sauce could do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it can't. Um, there's a trick here. I think it has something to do with the manatee oil, though I'm not certain what. And by the way, can I combine these? No. Why is whoops? It's an insulated ah. cup that Club Forty One uses to serve its Blood Island volcano shots. You know what? That's right. I had five of these, didn't I? Oh, there's a monkey in my pocket. He's attracting all my change. His tail is a <laughs> magnet, and I think that he's got mange. Uh, okay. Um. So, actually, let me recess, please. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please <coughs> escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Oh yeah, Your Honor. So now that I think about it, there's a reason I have four of these. What do you want? Um, reading material. Does this jail got any reading material? I'd suggest reading your legal briefs. You might need them. Good tip. I'll get right on that when I need something to put me to sleep. 
Uh, what do I gotta do to get a drink? To get a drink around here. There's a bar right over there. All you gotta do is get released, and you can walk right in. Oh. Uh, all right. Want to see my lawyer? Let's see my lawyer again. Not getting any smarter. Okay, so um, let me check out these briefs. Whoop, whoop. All right, so that's gone. Unlikely, some other mix deems it unlikely that some other mix of fluids could have caused Krebs's distinctive burn. Yeah, so I need to get... I think I need to get four different fluids and mix them together. I've got one... I've got two, actually. Um, and then I'm about to get a third. Let's see. Sizzly. You know, if I was a little more scientifically inclined, I might be worried about the effects this stuff is having on any future generations of three fluids. Okay, so that's three fluids. There should be one more somewhere. I'll have to go look around. I bet you it might be over this away. Oh, what was that? Oh, thought I hovered over something. Oh, the screaming narwhal. Left Mr. Winslow circling the island, just outside the reach of Flotsam's winds. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, hey, there's a rowboat. And here's a grease puddle. Can I pull up this grease? I've just got to get some of this incredible bacon grease. I sure can. There. Now my jacket and my pants smell like bacon. What can I do with this rowboat? Anything? I could roll back to the Screaming Narwhal, but without La Esponja Grande, I'll never be able to cure Elaine. And if I show up without Elaine's wedding ring, she'll probably kill me. Okay, let's see here. Alright, so I can't just go around combining these. But, I still have two empty shot glasses? Huh. Oh boy, I better go around and make sure there aren't any other fluids I can pick up. Ah, hello there. What's that? Arr, you best watch your step. That be a puddle of molten glass. It'll cool down in a few seconds, but until it does, it'll melt your boots off. Sounds fire. Better take some. I uh, better get some of this before it cools. Mmm, warm. Mm. Hot grease. Caustic fluid. Yeah, can't go around combining those. Okay. Um, a lamp? This didn't used to be here. That's really, um, something. Hey, isn't she a beauty? It's a prototype of my swashbuckling Susie long lasting leg lamp. <laughs> that crystal on top will glow for days. Don't you think it's a little tacky? Ah, uh, pirates love this kind of stuff. Um, can I have it? Look, an eight-legged alpaca. Your fancy cryptozoology tricks won't fool me, laddie. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to need this leg for something, just not sure what. One thing I've learned the hard way over the years is that you should never pull a monkey out of your pocket until the most dramatically useful moment. Mm. And that goes triple for an electromagnetic monkey. Mm. An electromagnetic monkey. Hello. I totally forgot about that. Okay, so that's uh, another piece of the puzzle. Is there anything else that's, uh, you know, liquidy and warm that I might need? I got four liquids. Just can't remember if there was a fifth because I've got one shot glass left. Glass, oil, caustic fluid, and hot grease. An empty shot glass. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not sure what it is. I should probably take some time to think about that. Now that the winds are blowing in again, Flotsam Island is once more soaking up most of the pox of the chuck. Oh boy. Yeah, better. 
now that the oh, yep, again, did that again. Flotsam Island is once more soaking up most of the pox of the chuck. All right, I'm going to take some more time to think this over. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we'll t get this... Uh, I'll let this sit for another episode. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And don't forget to give me a follow on twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. Come on. You know you want to. I'll see you next week for more Tales of Monkey Island. So take care. Bye-bye.